Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can use our backups to keep your server secure. Now the first thing you want to do is to save everything on your server. This is to make sure that the backup is the most accurate it can be. So you can either do this by typing the command that I just typed or you can stop the server. I recommend you stop the server. That means that any changes after that point will still be saved and it means no progress is actually lost so once you've gone ahead and done one of the two options you can head over to the backup option on the side and you can press create new this will create a backup and all you have to do is type in a name and this will go ahead and zip all your server files and upload it to our backup server where it will be stored until you decide you either want to delete it to create a new backup or restore from it in case anything ever happens on your server. This is how you actually create a backup with us and in the next part of the video I'm going to be talking through how you can restore from your backup. One thing to note is currently you can automate backups with our system but we will talk through different options about how you can sort this and later in the video. So once you've got your backup and you're looking to restore it, all you have to do is firstly make sure your server is turned off. This is to make sure that no files are actually overwritten and to go to your files tab and make sure that any files that you could have updated since your last backup are saved so you download them onto your computer and you can re-upload them later whether that's through the panel or using SFTP. So once you've downloaded any updated files that you may need you can then go ahead and delete all the current files. Then you want to go back to your backups and simply press restore. This will make sure that no files are lost from the backup and anything won't be overwritten that you need and this backup will then be sorted and uploaded to your server where you'll be able to play from where the backup was taken. We'll be back once the backup's restored and talk through a few more options about what you can do with backups. So the backup has now been successfully restored. You can see that if I head back to files, all my previous files have now been uploaded back and I can start the server as if it was the same before. Now, since we do not offer automated backups, there's a few things that you may want to do. Firstly is a plugin called Call Protect, which we talk a bit more about in our video called Security Features. It's a very useful plugin for rollbacks or any griefing that you may encounter. It does, however, use up a lot of storage, so you need to make sure you've got sufficient storage for both your world and any other plugins or backup plugins you may be using. And the last thing to note is you can use automated backup plugins such as Easy Backup, or there's a few more out there that you can use. I hope this helps, and if you find any troubles, please feel free to leave it in the comments or contact our support team. If not, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.